I want to break down the difference between liberalism, social democracy, democratic socialism, and communism. First and foremost, liberalism, probably what you've heard the most. Liberals are pro-capitalist, and they, this is the important part, think that your rights should be determined by how much money you have. So while they say that they're definitely not racist, the reality is that existing racial inequality is used to justify future inequality. Because once again, if you don't have money, the markets just don't care about you. So they'll say they care about gay rights in the sense that they want rich gay people to be able to get married, but they don't necessarily care about getting health care to trans folks. Then you have the social democrats who want to go a few steps further. They want to do some housing, some health care, some basic necessities where people are covered, but ultimately not too many people, because ultimately capitalism depends on a certain percentage of people being homeless and without jobs. So social democrats will put in place these policies that effectively are poverty traps that keep people permanently in poverty, but not so poor that they're starving to death. Definitely an improvement from the liberals, but also not that great and still very much capitalism. You'll notice a lot of social democratic countries still pump out a lot of oil and fundamentally depend on exploitation of people in the global south in order to make their economies work. Then you have the democratic socialists. Democratic socialists want socialism, but ultimately they think that the pathway to achieve socialism is purely through the electoral process. Now, there's some historical examples of why that hasn't always worked, but ultimately the main differentiating factor between them and communists is that democratic socialists think that it is achievable to get socialism purely through the democratic process as it exists in capitalist country through existing electoral spaces. Lastly, you have the communists. The communists recognize that the state as it is is designed in such a way where it's pretty much impossible for socialists to actually find themselves into any elected position. And even if the socialists do get elected into office, capitalists will use countless slimy tactics in order to stop them from having any power or doing anything. These could be lawsuits and things like the Supreme Court, or they could literally be coup attempts in order to stop any type of social progress from happening. Because of this, communists believe in building dual power structures and building specific networks of power among people through things like mutual aid networks, community defense networks, and other basic support institutions so that if the state was to no longer exist, people would still have a community of support around them. I want to be clear, communists do fundamentally believe in democracy. And while many people will fear monger about countries like China, the truth of the matter is not only does China have a democratic system, but also their central government has a popular support of 95% of the population supporting the central government, compared to the United States where it barely breaks 30%. But breaking down lies about China is for another video.